for those who don't know, money in the bank is right around the corner. And if you don't know what that means, it's about seven to eight participants, men or women. And basically they just punch them in the f each other in the face as they try to take a ladder into the ring and try to climb it where, where a briefcase will be hanging you know, right above uh, for them to get. And once they retrieve said uh, briefcase, then they have a guaranteed championship you know, contract, which they can use, you know, however they want. They can like use it to set up a match. They can cash in basically whenever they want, before a match, during a match, after a match, catering, and somebody's hotel room and their pool while they're getting their hair done at a Quiznos, if Quiznos are still around. But anyway, that is the concept of Money in the Bank, which have, have led to some awesome work considered cash-ins. Uh, year after matches are at WrestleMania, and this year's you know, iteration of that match is right around the corner. And already we have one declarator declaration into the match on the men's side and that is none other than main event Jey Uso who on the June 3rd edition of Raw came out to the crowd you know doing the yay 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 and announced that he was going to win the money in the bank and it got me thinking obviously if Jay's going to enter a match he is a favorite but is Jay winning said money in the bank the right choice and I thought about it and it seems like it comes down to two schools of thought. On one hand, you have Jay, who's already a bona fide main event star, already a person who could walk into multiple championship opportunities. And so therefore he doesn't necessarily need the briefcase because in the past, the briefcase has kind of been the tool for a superstar man or woman who is like right there on the cusp of, you know, getting the main events, getting the title opportunities, but is not necessarily there. And that's what they're kind of their way into just squeezing themselves in that space so again if someone like a Jey Uso wins it it's not really needed if you look back at when you had a winner such as like Brock Lesnar or a Randy Orton to where it's yeah it's, it's cool that they want it like someone like that but at the same time it's they could have just walked into management and been like hey yo give me a shot and management be like oh, gee willikers yeah let's do it so and then the briefcase doesn't serve as an elevator to win Edge, who was a, the first winner, used it to uh, cash in on a bloody Cena back in early 06. Yeah, because he won at 05, cash in 06, and he, he became a main event main eventer off of that. You have someone like a Big E who cashed in on a Bobby Lashley and finally got over the hump of being a WWE champion. You have a Liv Morgan, who's now a champion, currently has a film in this video, but her first win was off of the money in the bank, money in the bank briefcase. To finally get over the hum, to finally get over that, like, oh, all these cool ladies are wrestling and I'm down here. Like, I got the briefcase and I'm now I'm here. So, that's what the briefcase can do. Elevate the talent holding it to main event status. And as we know, main event Jey Uso is already main event. If we use Jey Uso for the contract, it elevates the contract. Now while like all those previous mention and other caches have been cool, there are times when the winner feels like they don't fit. A la a, a back a uh, Damien Sandow who made the, a briefcase, a cool looking briefcase, but didn't really fit. Damien Priest cashing in at a cool spot, but if you sit, if you've been watching for the past year, you realize that his actual run with the briefcase that he held for nearly a year was not the best. And it, it often felt like times like the briefcase was just there, not to enhance, it was just kind of there. You had the Otis back in 2020 who was so bad that they took the, they just took the briefcase off of him and gave it to the Miz, like when it, well, in the match, but still. It was, again, didn't fit. So if you t give it to a lesser, if you give the briefcase to a lesser superstar, you run the risk of devaluing the case. That wouldn't be the problem with Jey Uso. In fact, he would be the biggest superstar in a couple years to win it and help elevate it to a place where 
it's no it's not an afterthought it's probably the thought um on a lot of shows because jay Uso can keep it the thought on a lot of shows so uh, uh, jay Uso win could do that as far as uh jay winning it it would it would come down to who the other participants are like i said he did he i believe he's the first uh, declare declarator uh but we have to see who the other field is it's usually about seven to eight total per match so we'll wait to see who else qual uh qualifies or announces or however they're doing it and you have this year people like a bobby lashley like a Ilya Dragunov, a Carmella Hayes, a Braun Breaker. You have potentially a Randy Orton, a Kevin Owens. You know, those main event stars who like, if a Randy and Kevin won it, I think would do the same thing as a J to where they just, they themselves elevate the case, not the other way around. And then you have like a Bobby Lashley, who's a bona fide star. But as far as the pecking order of the of SmackDown, it can use a little boost. You have Ilya, Carmelo, and um, Braun, who is a up and coming star who could, you know, get elevated by the case, always be there, and just be around a title for a couple months. Just, you know, like I said, using the case to cash in whenever they could be lurking in your shadows, like, ooh, I'm in the shadows, I'm gonna cash in whenever, ooh, 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 something like that. So, to bring it all back, is Jay Uso the right choice for money in the bank? And listing all the reasons before, and doing the calculations in my head, I don't think Jey Uso is the right winner this year. Now, if he won, it would be cool, it would be fun. You know, main event, Jey just yeeting with the case on the crowd, just whoa, yeet, 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 yeet. But there are others who I think could benefit more. And to me, it comes back to, I don't think Jey needs the case, I think, in the calendar year 2024, early 2025, late in the mania, he will fight for the world title a couple times between now and then. And if he's already going to get those opportunities, what does the case really do for him? You know, someone else could, who doesn't fight for those opportunities a lot, like a Lashley, like a Braun, like a Carmelo, all those kind of things could benefit more from the case. So again, if he wins, no big deal, cool, fun. But I think there are better, more deserving winners this year. And right now, I think a, a dream winners for me, for the men, are like Randy Orton and or Carmelo Hayes for two opposite reasons. Randy elevates, Carmelo gets elevated. So but that's going to do it today. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know, do you think uh, Jay should win? I'll catch you guys in the next video. On all socials, I'm at It's Heartfelt. I'm right now, It's Heartfelt. Peace.